Hello everyone, this is Daniel and welcome to the 13th part of this character creation series. Now today I want to look at the feet, I believe is what we're going to work on next. These here, um, a bit more complicated than the arms, but we'll do our best here as well. So <coughs> with this object now selected, uh, let's see. Maybe we just begin by selecting these two and separating them with by pressing P and then separate selection. Uh, and then with this object we'll begin to do our modifications. So I'm just looking now at this and I'm going to uh, you know not even look at my references too much here. I'm just going to eyeball it in most cases. But there are a couple of lines that we need to hit. I'll go ahead and also add a subdivision surface modifier uh, just to, you know, show us the result since we're doing subdivision surface modeling right now. I'll move out this line for starters and I think I want to crease this line here so I'm going to hit shift E and bring it up to something like 0.8 or so. You can see the numbers up there. And then we'll need to bring up the back here and this down a little bit. Um, so, you know, get this kind of V-shape in. Something like that is what I believe we're looking at here in the reference. Uh, and then I think for now I'm also going to delete these two points since here we're going to have the uh, sort of the axis stick out. Um, and then these two parts will kind of go away like this. Um, next, let's see... We don't have a lot of geometry to work with, it's kind of challenging. Um, I think I want a bit more here. I'm just going to add now some loop cuts in these regions here. And then we'll select the entire ring all around like this and select these rings here too and then we'll hit in our loop tools uh, the space feature and then relax as well which didn't really work out did it <laughs> um, let's deselect these three for now hit spacing oh wait we need to deselect this as well then hit space here and relax and then select these again uh, and let's try the same, same thing one more time. Now let's just leave it as it is, like this. Okay, so now it's spread out a bit better, let's just delete these as well. I think we're just going to make them, them again separately when we get there. Uh, we also need to straighten up this a tiny bit just to make the flow nicer. Just going to hit G twice to slide, um, and there we go for now. Uh, for the f for this lower part here, I'm also starting by deleting some points. I think we'll just go ahead and delete all all of these here, and from here uh, we're going to relax all of the points in here and extrude them out and scale them a bit down, and this will give us a nice uh, sort of cut off part. I don't like how this is stretched here though, so let's delete these two faces. Um, and we'll send a loop cut through here. We'll fill these lower quads and rip rip this apart with a V and fill this in with F. Same thing over here, fill this in with F and then select these two loops and hit space and relax. But again we have a similar issue, so I'm just going to deselect this for one and then reselect these and do that again so that now should do the job yeah we might have to uh, do the same thing for the lower one as well doesn't seem to really work for this is this one though so what let's just try to do it with all of them to see if that helps anything but um, yeah, I mean, it's better, but it's not ideal. <laughs> we can modify the rest just to be a bit smoother. So this is about what I wanted. 
you know what, let's undo that and just to this point, I'll select one of these rings, then go to select, select loops, edge rings, and then relax these just a little bit. I think that's the best we'll be able to do here. The rest we'll do a bit more manually. Um, for example, I think we need to move this one a bit like that to create a nicer curve here. Let's do something similar for this. Let's do the same action again and that will give us a nicer curvature all around. Uh, let's relax this one as well a few times. Um, what's next? Let me take a look at the reference very quickly. Uh, anyway, let's do something else first. I'll add, a, I'll add a circle here and set the vertex count to, uh, let's go with 8 for now. Uh, actually, I wanted this to be part of the leg, so I'm just going to, uh, you know, maybe scale it down, bring it to this side first, and then just join it to the legs so that it's part of it. And then we'll try to find where the, where sort of this. Yeah, you might want to turn off this or set it to increment. And then, yeah, your snapping shouldn't mess it up. So there's going to be something like this through through this through the feet. Let's try to find the right position for that though, because it's it's not too obvious right away. Uh, I think it needs to be a bit smaller, smaller di diameter. And then, of course, we're going to have these two parts go out like that and cover the feet a little bit. Yeah, I'm pretty sure sculpting is going to give us the, the most control over everything here. Uh, I'm not too happy with it at the moment. But these go up anyway. Let's bring them up like this. Uh, that This gives us a nice curve around here. And we'll have to do something similar around the back. So one more time, select all these points around here. Uh, that seems right. Then we'll extrude them outwards like this. Um, we could go ahead and also crease these two additional edges here. So Shift E, crease them. Then we'll have to sort of make this go around the cylinder, which is a bit tricky since it's not exactly lining up at the moment. But let's just bring it to where we need it to be. Um, same on the other side. A bit tricky again, but just look from all angles and try to find the right spot. <laughs> Yeah, I'm pretty sure this, this kind of stuff is more difficult for beginners usually. Like, you pretty quickly get used to tracing stuff from the side views, which is totally good and definitely the way to start learning 3D in my opinion. Um, but you will realize that there's always going to be some things that you can't just trace because maybe it's just not visible in your reference or because it's not clear and these are the situations when you just have to get used to modeling in perspective with limited information. Um, so don't feel bad if you're, if you're struggling with this, but I hope you can, you can solve these issues and work your way through it. Something like this, I mean, okay, I'm not sure about all this, but one thing I want to do now is take the knife tool and I'm going to make a cut around this whole area here. So K for knife tool and then just click along these edges and then enter to accept. Then I'm going to use M and merge at center for these two points. And then I am going to maybe un remove the crease for this and for this one as well. Uh, I'm having trouble selecting that. E, Shift D. All right, that gives us now a, a nicer curvature around this part here. Try 
trying to line it up a bit nicer. Mm, yeah, the remaining things we might have to just fix with sculpting after all. I'm not too confident about doing this with uh, poly modeling, but maybe some of you are going to be better at that. Yeah, we have to apply the same kind of changes to the other side as well though, so let's quickly go on the other side, use K, the knife tool, and add click once on all these edges, then merge these two points on both sides, and um, here we're going to remove the crease. And with that, we should be able to do a nicer curve around around this part. Uh, one more thing that I want to do here, let's separate this part now, just this upper part, select the entire thing, hit P to separate the selection. I'm going to the modifiers and I'll add a solid view modifier. Uh, this gives thickness, oh I, I added it to the wrong mod uh, to the wrong part, so delete it one more time, select the leg and add a solid view modifier. That will give you uh, some thickness to your object. And what I want to try to do here is set the subdivision surface to 1 and then go to the subdivision to the menu and duplicate it and move the sub second subdivision below the solid fit. And this will give you something like that. Also, let's reduce the creasing effect uh, around the border. So select all these that go around the border here and shift E and reduce it to something like, no, reduce it by half. And I'm just going to do this with some additional geometry to keep it a bit more sharp, but that's a nicer, softer feel. We can now go in and shade it smooth as well. And I think that looks a bit better now. Now it's not great, I'll admit that. <laughs> but I think we, we have to just uh, live with that for now. And there is definitely a bunch of details that I want to try to add. Let's shade this lower part smooth as well. I'm also not particularly happy with, uh, with the feet, the shape of the feet. I'd like to make this flatter a little bit. That looks already nicer. And we're going to probably have a little bit of a ledge here. Um, and some sort of detail down here. Yeah, and this is going to be filled likely with more details. Uh, which mm, we might do in a different object as well. Um, that looks alright for now. Yeah, so there we go actually. Um, hmm. Let me do a final check if we can add any more details to the feed. Um, yeah, maybe we should spend some time on this. This line, we didn't really look at it. Uh, this should should go around like this. Okay, let's try. So I'm putting this here. This goes around here before it goes back up. Yeah, but I'm not a big fan. <laughs> let's just leave it as is. I have to think a little bit about the right approach for this part. Um, we'll probably do this in two, two sections. This lower one no, we'll probably add the axis to that separate the axis out of this part, and we'll treat these two as one part, and we'll treat this as a second part. And in inside here, we'll do some additional details. So maybe we just go in and fill this up for now, like this, so that later on with sculpting we'll have a good starting point. Uh, let's flatten this maybe. I don't know and then the upper part will be another part to look at in, in sep well in separate it's a separate thing the only thing we can maybe do still before we end this part is to add a little bit of a detail up here just like we did with the arms a little ring basically um, yep there we go <laughs> a bit rough but here we have some additional detail now for the feet. Uh, I hope you enjoyed. I'm assuming that you're probably struggling together with me at this point but don't worry too much we're going to figure this out. Maybe we'll skip it for for now and just finish the, the pants in the 
in the next part and there's a little bit of more additional work here with these minor details which are going to take quite a bit of time each of them but uh, we'll do one pass of detailing over the entire body without going to too much uh, fine stuff and then we'll do a final pass where we just finish up everything also add the colors you know all the all the good and fun stuff <laughs> will come in the in that in the end in that third phase of our modeling so that, that that concludes now our video for today i hope you enjoyed and i will see you next time